Now let's do another sports action pose. Now let's stay with baseball and do a slider. Now this is a great one to do, and I'll show you why. Because a slide is already kind of an extreme cartoon pose, isn't it? I mean, if someone on the ground like this with dust, that's a great pose. And we'll start with a stick figure again. And it's really stretched out. Now here's his head. Here's his arm reaching for the base. Here's his hand. Here's the base. And his body is up in the air. Here's his torso. And let's see, his legs. One's going out this way. Legs are kicking up in a crazy looking way. Which is really how a slide really looks, but we're going to ex exaggerate it just a little bit. You know what? We'll have his hat flying off like we did before. That works real well. And there's a shadow and a ground line. We're ready to go. So I'll get my pen and we'll ink this drawing in. Because once we've got this laid out in stick figure, it's easy. You know, throughout my travels, people are always saying to me things like, I can't draw a stick figure. And what they're really trying to say is that they don't think that they can draw. But actually, a stick figure is not that easy because it's the foundation, isn't it, of the whole drawing. Now let's have him determine. That's the good thing about sporting poses is that it comes in with a built-in set of props and facial expressions. Now right here, just like before, we're going to overlap that part of his face with his sleeve. So there's a sleeve, and here's his forearm. And here's his fingers, which are reaching for that base so he can be safe. And as to whether he's safe or not, well, we're going to have to wait, see if that, that works out for him or not. Now we're going to double this line a little bit, because this is the other arm. See how we just like double that line and it looks like three-dimensional? All right. Now we're going to come back here, and we're going to put his torso in. So we're going to make it come up and stop about there and put his waist in. All right. Now for his feet and his legs. Well, this one here is the one closest to us, so we'll draw that one first. And again, it's like a baseball outfit, so we're going to have his pant leg kind of blast and connect it to his calf. All right. Put his foot in. Now remember, draw that heel. That's important. And some detail down there. All right, what else? His other leg peeking out this side here. And we do the same thing. And here's his other foot. Now, because this is seen in the distance a little bit, not much, from, the, from this leg here, we're going to darken it in because it is the one behind. So if we add a little shadow, it adds a little depth. Could do the same thing over here with his arm. All right, now let's put some shadow underneath the body and put it right connecting to the body so it looks like he's not in the air and he's like planted on the ground as opposed to floating. Now here's his hat. Again, it's a half a sphere shape. See that? We darken in the inside for depth. And here's his brim and his beanie, some cartoon effects, and dust. Now this is the fun part. You can have a little fun with this because you can't go wrong. And it'll look like smoke. And some don't, don't forget the speed lines like he's moving real quickly, and some perspiration, and what else? Well, let's put the base in, and maybe a caption. And I'm going to switch to my red color stick, because I want this to be bold. Bear down. That's right, folks. He made it. He's safe. And that's coming from a talk balloon that is going off frame here from the ump. Now, you see how I made that little squiggly like that? That indicates that a talk balloon may be screaming or something like that. All right, let's put a little color into this. Now, a good way to practice poses like this is to just get up out of your chair and act them out. I'm not saying you should slide around the floor, but almost. And then after you've acted out the pose, what you want to do is exaggerate that pose. Let's give them pinstripes. And you know what? We'll make them the Phillies, because that's where I'm from, Philadelphia. All right, you take a look at this slider sketch, and I'll play a little keyboard, really a little keyboard, right here. And I'll play a little baseball music. You take a look at him. All right, uh-oh. It's time for the gag sketch of the day. Ready? And today, it's a pun. All right, I'll give you a hint. They also call them malls. It's a place where you spend money. Mm, all right, you ready? It's a chopping center. There it is, a chopping center. All right. 